live south of 71st. How many of you live like in Broken Arrow, Bixby? Yeah. So we're here, we're little blue dots, but I'm telling you, I think what you're hearing is from candidates on the doors, people are ready to make a change. And I was at the walkout, I was talking to folks that said, you know what? I have to make time to vote. I just got a notice today that, um, that Union Public Schools, the school board, is going to just put to a vote to change the schedule to make November 6th the holiday so yeah. that their teachers can vote. Yeah. So we're getting a lot of new kind of support, new civic engagement. Yes. Can I just say, you, a lot of you have probably already experienced this, but this was this is probably one of my favorite reactions. They open the door, they're waiting for some kind of sales pitch, and the doors open like this much, and they're like, Yes, can I help you? And they're just waiting to slam the door and you say, I'm the Democratic candidate. And before you can finish, they sling, fling the door open. They're like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, sorry, I just wanted no. to say No, it's true. And I knocked a lot of doors in 2016. I know Karen did. Um, people, people are, I had ladies crying. Like, yeah, I've lived here 40 years. I've never had a Democrat on my door. Um, my strategy in my deep red district, um, I was running against Scott McEachin, you know that name, he's not a friend of education in Oklahoma, no, he and he has a primary and we have a great Democrat candidate running against him. Um, you know, folks are ready for a change, they're ready to have those conversations. Independents definitely want to be talked to, and it, if there are South Tulsa candidates, they have got to persuade Republicans to vote for them. That is just part of the strategy. So. Again, when you're at your events out in your community, out in your neighborhood, you know, try to talk to folks and don't make it so partisan. Just say we have a great candidate who's really standing up for family values and for education. And then after they're really into it, then you can kind of say, they're a Democrat, so just be ready to find their name on the ballot. Um, and the other thing is just talk to people about what is your plan for June 26? And they'll go, what's on June 26? And you'll say, we have a primary. And they go, well, my vote doesn't count. And then you say, no, it actually really does count. And here's why. We're voting for governor. We're voting for city councilors. We're voting for 788. You know, and, and have those conversations. Because a lot of people don't know what's going on. They really don't. They get distracted by national level politics. They're all just like, I'm so sick of it. I'm voting on American Idol. I really care about my American <laughs> Idol people. You know, and I say, if you know more about American Idol and the voice, and Dancing with Stars, like, you need to know what's going on in your community. So I just encourage you to have those conversations, too. We have one more candidate, unless I'm mistaken. Is there someone here that's... Yes, you're my last one. Is there anyone else that's here that's running? You're running. Would you 